Okay, so the next property that I want to take a look at if we're comparing two different estimates for the same parameter would be this issue of which of these two is more efficient. So um, let's take, for example, a sample of three values, x1, x2, and x3, that we pick from a distribution um, that has mean, which is mu, um, mu and a variance, which is sigma squared. And so we've already shown that um, the sample mean is an unbiased estimator for mu. Let's um, consider a second estimate for this, which we can get by looking at uh, the following weighted average. And so if I were to calculate the expected value of this estimate, okay, we could use the fact that we can break up sums and pull out constants so that would be 1 6 times the expected value of x1 plus 1 third times the expected value of x2 plus 1 half times the expected value of x3. And since we're pulling all of these from the same distribution with expected value mu, that gives me 1 6 mu plus 1 third mu plus one half mu, if I add all those up, I get mu. Okay, so since the expected value of y is equal to the parameter that is trying to estimate mu, this is also an unbiased estimate. So, which of these is better? That's the next question. Um, so they both have the same expected value, they're both unbiased, Let's compare the two the variances of each of these estimates. Okay, so we are comparing these two estimates, the sample mean and this um, weighted average, which are both estimates for the population mean. Um, and so we showed that they're both unbiased. Um, but you might be thinking, in general, this seems like it makes more sense in general than using a weighted average. So let's see what else we can compare. So if we were to look at the variance of the first estimate, x bar, okay, for this one, um, that would be the variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 over three. We can pull out that three, but we need to square it when we pull it out from the variance. So that gives me one over three squared and then the variance of each of these, since they're coming from the same population, their variance is all sigma squared, and we have three of them. So the variance of x bar would be the one over three squared times three times the um, variance, sigma squared. So this three cancels one of the threes down here. And so for our sample mean estimate, the variance of that estimate is equal to sigma squared over three. And now let's compare that to the variance of this weighted average over here. Um, and so we could use the same um, properties here. Namely, when I pull out the 1 6, it becomes squared as 1 over 6 squared. And when I pull out the 1 3rd, it becomes a 1 9th and a 1 4th. And each of these variances is sigma squared. So I've got 1 36 plus 1 9th plus 1 4th times 3 over sigma squared, and that gives me 7 over 18 sigma squared. Um, and so what we can see, if we compare these two, is the second one that we just found over here is slightly more than this one over here. Okay, so although these are both unbiased estimators, we see that the sample mean has less variability than this weighted average. And it seems like a desirable um, goal that we would want our estimator to not vary so much depending on the sample that we pick. So that property is what's called efficiency. So if we have two unbiased estimators, we say that one is more efficient than the other if its variance is less than the variance of the other. So in this case, we would say that this is a more efficient estimator.
since its variance is a little bit less. Okay, so if we're comparing two unbiased estimators, just looking at the bias isn't enough. And another property that we can compare is the variability of those two estimates. And it makes sense that we might pick the estimate, the estimator which has less variability um, as the better estimate.